Hey, what's going on out there? I would like to welcome every single one of you to Water Your Soil. So before I get started, I would like to say if you're new around here, I have two rules over at this channel. The first rule is for you to always use your own discretion when it comes to credit cards and credit scores. The second rule, that's for you to verify whatever it is you learn, whether it's on this channel, another channel, or anywhere. That should be a rule of life. Please verify whatever it is you learn. So getting into the video, this video is going to be about what I believe, me personally. This is my personal subjective opinion, and if you look at it from an objective standpoint, there's also a good case for it. But this is my subjective opinion on what I believe is the most overrated Amex credit card, and I think it's overlooked as well. I don't see too many videos on YouTube talking about this credit card. Now, prior to me getting on YouTube, I was helping people with credit scores and credit cards, and I just didn't start doing it once I got on YouTube. And back in those days, before I got on YouTube, people would ask me, what credit cards do they recommend? And of course, I would go and recommend a secured credit card if someone was trying to build up their credit and their credit wasn't in a good spot. Let's say they didn't really have a credit history or they were trying to just get back on track with building up their credit score. So of course, I will refer them to a secured credit card. And one of the main secured credit cards I will refer them to is the Discover It because that's the one that I started out with. But this video is not about secured credit cards. As you all may know, American Express doesn't have a secured credit card. So this is about the Amex card that I often refer people to. And everyone didn't start out their journey with this card. But it is one that if you do start out your journey with it, it opens up so many doors for people. Now, I didn't start out with this card, but it is one that I have recommended to so many people that I've helped over the years. And it opened up doors for them as well. And it basically started them on a path to pretty much being able to get whatever credit card they desire from American Express. Minus, of course, the black card, a.k.a. the Centurion card. And I think everyone knows how hard it is to come about getting that card. It requires a lot of income as well as a lot of spending. So I don't want you all to just watch this video when I reveal what the card is and then shut the video off. I'm going to actually explain to you why this card will benefit you in such a great way. So you want to stay around to the end of the video. But the card that I'm referring to is the Amex Cash Magnet card. Now, some people may say, oh, I heard of the Cash Magnet card. It's either the Cash Magnet or the Everyday card when it comes to Amex. And there are no annual fee cards, but I always hear about the everyday card and I rarely hear about the cash magnet and the cash magnet is one that I started a lot of people off with and they've been seeing great results on their credit journey as a result. As I talked about in plenty of videos in the past, once you get your foot in the door with American Express, it opens up so many possibilities and these no annual fee credit cards with American Express are a good way to get your foot in the door. And it's also not in an expensive way. I know some of my fellow creators, they make videos and they say, you know, it's cool to start out with a platinum card or a gold card. And I agree. Those are good cards to start out with. However, I believe you need the income in order to support that. And if you don't really have an income, and in my opinion, if you don't have the experience with credit cards, you should not be starting out with one of those cards. It's easier for you to start out with a no annual fee card. That way you don't have to worry about an annual fee coming up. And that way you could just focus on that card and getting your foot in the door as far as building that rapport. Now, in regard to building a rapport, I tell people it normally takes about three to six months to build a rapport with Amex. Of course, it's case by case, but that's what it took me. Once I got to that three month mark, I started receiving offers from American Express for the platinum card and the gold card. And without a doubt in my mind, if you have a good credit score and the income to back it and you build up that rapport with Amex, they'll be doing the same for you as well. So the offer right now on the cash magnet card is if you spend two thousand dollars in six months you get two hundred dollars back that would be your intro bonus now that's around three hundred and thirty four dollars a month 
for those six months that you need to spend in order to get $200 back in return. Now, some of you, you may say, hey, I'm not interested in spending $2,000 in six months. And it may seem pretty big. But if you break it down at that 334 for six months, the number shrinks and gets smaller. However, what I recommend people do is if you have a big purchase coming up, it's holiday season. You know that. So it's holiday season. And if you have a big purchase coming up where you have to go out and buy things for the holiday and take trips and things like that, that's a good time to be able to hit that $2,000 minimum spend. And the cool thing with the minimum spend is you don't have to wait six months in order to get that $200 back. If you spend that $2,000 in the first month and usually when you pay off your statement, then they usually give you your $200 within a couple of weeks. I actually get mine within a couple of days, but of course it's case by case and it may vary for some people. However, when you do hit that $2,000 mark, Amex usually doesn't hesitate to send you your money. So anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks, you'll usually end up receiving your money back. But the cash magnet card, is one that I recommend is overlooked and underrated in my opinion. And the reason why it's so underrated is because it helps you build that rapport with Amex. It's no annual fee. You get your foot in the door and you get $200 back. I know some of you, you probably like, well, $200 is nothing, but $2,000 these days is definitely something. And just think about the possibilities for the future. You start building that rapport with Amex and you never know what doors may open for you. Amex just doesn't have personal credit credit cards. And that's what I want you all to know. They also have business cards. They also have business checking accounts. They also have personal checking accounts. They have high yield saving accounts. They also have it where you could get personal loans and they have it where you could get business loans. So just from getting that one card, the cash magnet and building up that rapport, you open up so many doors and so many possibilities potentially if you are able to manage that card the correct way. And that's important, managing it the correct way because a lot of people, they'll get a credit card and they'll abuse it. They'll max it out every month and then they'll carry balances and then they'll be late and things like that. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you're building a positive rapport with them, meaning you're paying them whatever you spend. So make sure that you do that and make sure you do it on time. Build up that rapport. Start out with one of their no annual fee credit cards, whether it's the everyday or the cash magnet. This video is about the cash magnet and those doors can potentially open up for you. But I just wanted to make this video. I appreciate every one of you who stopped by and watched my live stream with Sledge. Those of you who watch my live stream with Tasha, I'm going to be doing more live streams. I'm going to be on one Wednesday, which is tomorrow with Joe. So over with Joe B's channel. So be sure to check me out over there. Also on Sunday, September the 15th, I'm going to be doing a live interview over here at 7 p.m. Eastern time with Cesar, Cesar Joel. So make sure you come around and check that one out because it's going to be a good one. Cesar is one of those people who has always supported this channel and now he has his own channel. So I want to interview him and see what he has going on in regards to credit cards and credit scores. But I just wanted to bring this video to you. Do not sleep on the Amex Cash Magnet card. It could open up so many doors for you. Do not sleep on it. It's very under rated in my opinion it may not be talked about a lot but it's a good card to start out with in my opinion so make sure you look into it if you're considering getting an amex card that should be one that you consider but anyways if you're new around here and you're feeling the vibe this is word of your soil be sure to hit the subscribe button turn on all notifications that way you don't miss a future video that's clicking on the bell and selecting all also, this goes to every single one of you who are watching, especially my subscribers. Be sure to hit the like button. It literally takes one second. Hit the like button. That's your way of showing support to this video. It also lets the algorithm know you support this channel. I really appreciate every single one of you for taking out the time to watch these videos, watch my lives, participate in my polls. I really do appreciate your support, and I appreciate you sharing my videos. I really do. This is Word of Your Soil. And I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right? In the description box below, I always tell people, check out the description box below for extra resources from Water Your Soil. Part of the description box also showcases my book that I have. I have a book, it's been out for a while now, it's been out for years. It's titled, 
Strategies to Master Credit. The book is available, it's on Amazon, it's on Barnes & Noble, most online bookstores have the book. And the book is basically about how FICO credit scoring works. Once you understand how FICO credit scoring works, you're pretty much on your way to helping yourself build, develop, and maintain a good credit score. So check the book out whenever you get a chance.